Welcome to the Planet Boom Youth Leadership Podcast, a podcast for youth leaders, youth pastors, and young leaders who have a passion to grow in their leadership and a desire to be empowered to lead their generation. Keep listening to check out our latest episode. Well, welcome today to a very special episode of Planet Boom Youth Leadership Podcast because um, you're actually going to come with us today into a, uh, a boom music writing session and um, these are not specific sessions but we're, there's a few of us here in the studio and um, you're going to join in with us. So over the next 20 minutes or so, enjoy it. Who knows, this may end up on one of the future albums and you will have heard it here first or maybe not and if not, I pray that it still blesses you. But what we wanted to do today was highlight, I guess, how the creativity is happening at Boom and how it flows out and what it flows from. Because a lot of people were asking those questions. Where do these songs come from? What's happening there? And uh, so um, you're going to see it in a pretty organic way today and just um, the way that Noah is here, Josh Ham is here, I am here, and, uh, and you're here. So join in with us. Let's go. When? A month ago? Yeah. Maybe more. To be exact, before you guys left, just before you guys left on the tour, to Europe. A bit more than a month ago. Mm. On a Sunday, 6pm mm. service, mm. quickly yes. in your office, which has a little, tiny little keyboard. Not a very good one. No, it is. Nah. It's probably my favourite. But uh, you had a little idea. I made it heaps better. I'm just saying, it's sort of took it to another level. Well, I would say my piano skills took it way to another level, so... Do you feel like this actually could be for Boom or church or what? Yes, I specifically felt for anyone, but I reckon (laughs) we could do... Joanna loves Jesus. That's the opposite of specifically. I specifically felt for anyone who wants to listen to it. Um, (laughs) They can. No, I I think... It's exclusively for everyone. I think it's exclusively... No, I reckon it could be for Boom. I feel like it could be for Boom. Um, And it was about being home. And I explained it to Pastor Andy about... The idea of um, not that one. Get it out of your head. About um, the example of was it uh, prodigal son? Prodigal son. Prodigal son. Where but, did it come from? But what the, the, the uh, like the inspiration was it in a service? Um, yes. In a champion retreat. By yes, in a champ. I was sitting in in a champ. Got on my thing, and um, I just started oh, on my phone on my voice memos, and I started just. Singing random melodies until one sounded decent. Okay, pause there. I'm going to just tell everybody, everybody at home, this is where a lot of the inspiration um, for some of these songs are coming from is in the services of what God is doing here, we feel those kind of levy. I think we would all say that. Would you say that, Josh? You make little notes on your phone, you make little audio recordings, and then we come back together later to try and capture what was it that I was feeling or thinking in those moments and how do we express that? For predominantly for our people, what God is doing here, and then if it blesses anybody else, praise God. Yeah, and when we were in, in our one of our um, in the champion encounter days, there was this whole thing of coming home. Uh, where what we do as part of one of the sessions, where everyone comes home and uh, receives a nice big hug uh, from one of our pastors. But I was just looking at that, and I was like, why don't we try write something about that, but also incorporate. Many different ideas, as in the prodigal son returning home, but being in the presence of God and how easy and how safe it feels and how awesome it is. If that makes sense. Does that make sense to you, Josh? Yeah, I think it'll it'll make more sense as it, the idea develops. And yes, it becomes a bit more of a tangible thing. Mm. Um, but the melody we had. Yeah, we need to that. The verse. The verse. Should we just start from the verse? What, what do you want to start, start from? Maybe the verse will be good. Let's go. Ready? Start. One. You can't, you can't <laughs> do that to me. There's a, there's a time that I'm just Process. on. Um, <laughs> Does this inspire you? Does a ched, half a ched half inspire a ched. you? Probably not. Um, Is that a good key? Yes. Yeah, um, yeah that one. Yeah, that one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This one. No, this no, one. Yeah. yeah, that one. Mm-hmm. This is home. And then. Here in your presence, home. 
Same, same thing. Same note? Yeah. Same chord on that? Yeah. Oh, same you can do whatever. I don't know. Here in your presence, home. You can, you can change the... Yeah. Safe in your presence. <laughs> and then that's what we got up to. Yeah. But the yeah. Mm, yeah. Now it's so far. Worship tempo for four, four, isn't it? I'd say. For those who don't know, it's five, that's an eighty. What about what about when it goes big? Will, will it be alright? We'll change it. Change it. Change the so line, the tempo, everything. We'll do it at one hundred and fifty, but half time. Well, we will often, which is still seventy-five. A few things that we'll look for straight away. That's right. See, I'm drawing some stuff out of this. See, this is for the people. A few things we'll look at straight away. Where does that sit in the melody? You're playing that at the moment in C. Mm-hmm. Where does that sit? Where does that melody sit? I mean, in people's range, is that singable for people? Is that a, is that beltable? Because we want to sing songs that people mm. belt out, not that they have to sing quietly. And then the key to think about is what's the highest note in the melody? You don't want the highest note to really be higher than an A. Because that's yeah. Oh, I made it a lot lower than that actually for me. Yeah. <laughs> I think um, from from conversations with like uh, Joth, who writes a lot of the other songs, um, he would think. I think he said before, A is good for a congregation belt. There you go. Because obviously there's guys and girls and old men and little Children. boys that have very different ranges. <laughs> little boys. Um, but yeah, you don't. If you're anything higher than an A, it's just painful. Where where are we sitting there? Highest note moment is a G. Just under eight. And that's okay. So that's still. And then well, we haven't got to the bridge yet. <laughs> Point is, is C, C is a good key for this or not? Do we need to go up higher? Yeah, I think I think that's alright. C is good. Well done. Congratulations, Noah. That's two wins for you. I think I think yeah, we'll get the whole song down and then. You can adjust it. And see, because we haven't done the bridge yet. We haven't done the bridge yet. Which could go even higher, which bridges normally do. Mm. 
Um, ours, ours do. Mm-hmm. And then the other thing, the other thing there is just tempo. We're 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 not saying it'll land at seventy five. Yeah. This is a good starting point to see how it feels. Yeah. Wouldn't you say? Sorry. So I don't know if you can see, but everything I'm recording is recording in MIDI, which means everything's flexible, Adjustable. changeable afterwards. If you change the speed of it, change the pitch of it, it's so easy. Let's see that. It's so good. So good. Is that too um, reflective for intro? It doesn't have to be. Thank you. I can never do something to it to make it less. Like, uh, less, the, less like this. Looking into the clouds, that's how it makes me feel. Yeah, okay, that's a good point. But that's quite reflective. But that's big. On Sunday, yes. It's huge. Oh. But it's just because of how I'm playing it, it feels reflective. Okay. But I would imagine the intro being down. Would you? Well, we'll get to that later. Don't worry, you're getting ahead of yourself. Just you figure, you figure out the main skeleton structure. Here I am trying to paint fingernails, and we just need a skeleton. Sounds good. No, it, it is good. You hate it? I don't hate it at all. It's, you just want to it's know just what got it is. some two four bars. It does, it. doesn't it? That's a bit old school. We don't mind. We don't mind old school. Because it's, it's fresh. Old school's fresh. Oh, can be. Fresh. Is there anything else? 
else there that you want to? Yeah, like um, I'm like looking at a uh, like very short descriptive uh, one word descriptive words. Uh, safe is a good one. I think peace. I don't know. Peace. Maybe it's not very um robed. Robed, because I was thinking about robe. Huh? Oh, oh clothing. I like that. Yeah. Huh? Cloth cl- oh, I can't sing that very clothing clothed in your goodness, kindness. Oh, yeah, we need that extra syllable right on the oh, end. Oh yeah. Like, Very simple. Here's the thing we're doing here, people. We're keeping this so simple. We're thinking about teenagers, but still trying to just des- des- describe something very big and powerful in very simple, repetitive ways. Sometimes lots of words add more description. Sometimes fewer words add more description. Fewer words get stuck in your head more as well, and it helps with mm. meditating on. Mm. So, for a second part of that verse. Because there's another part. Yeah, so I reckon second time you could you could pick a different word other than home, like a boat, no. Nah. A boat, a boat. <laughs> no, nah, but like... Like love? Oh, you could, yeah, something, something like that. that, and then keep repeating that. Uh, or you could stick with home, whatever. Whatever you feel, man. I don't, inspiration. I don't mind... Um, I don't mind... Like, Sticking with home? Yeah, well, we could, but... But I mean, yeah. Describing the other like synonyms of love, goodness. <laughs> the synonyms of love. I don't even know what a synonym is. <laughs> what the heck is a synonym? You put it on. You put it on toast of uh, hate. You put it on pancakes. It's a fantastic get a donut. What's your synonym? Synonym. Cinnamon. No, what um. <laughs> Just tell me what you mean. Like, do you mean use home again or a different word? What are your hands about? Just. Or are you saying thoughts, come on. love, but a different word for love? It's not love. Because that's what synonym means. Well, I didn't know that. But thank you. But I reckon we could use. I reckon we could use home and then just describe some more things and what home is. What are your thoughts about that? Yeah. Well, I really like the idea of picking those up, picking the other things that the. Prodigal son receives and trying to weave that in. Mm. Like we just still okay. get clothed. I like a lot. Ring. I like a lot. <laughs> no, but like the rings are a rep, like <laughs> signifies yeah. authority. Like I get Literally. the authority again because I'm a child of God. Well, you could talk. Could you talk about that? Like being a child of God, and I know that I'm your royalty. Royalty. I know yeah. that's who I am in you because you accept me. Mm. You accept me. We did it. We finished the whole song. And done. Um, what happens from here though? This is where we there live. There you go. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Really? This is the bit that I've been waiting for. <laughs> you just love this part, don't you? I love it because you're the timing. Wow. Yeah. <sighs>
home. Here in your presence, home. Safe in your presence, home. Clothed in your love, I'm home. Home, you run to embrace me. Home, your arms wrapped around me. Home, we start in your love. I'm home, you've prepared for me a seat at the table. Do it again, but stay where you were. Because you weren't, I said I was just before, but you weren't. What do I turn it on to? No, that's good. Leave it. Home. Here in your presence, home. Safe in your presence, home. You've prepared for me a seat at the table. You welcome me with arms wide open. So I run right to your throne. I know I'm home here in your presence. I will run as fast as I can. Not holding back Here in your presence I will run Right to your throne I know I'm home Here in your presence I will run As fast as I can Not holding back Jeez, that's high. <laughs> do we do it again or is that? Yeah. It's not high enough actually, but that's all right. Um, bridge. There is nothing I desire, nothing I desire but you, but you. And there is nothing I want more. Nothing I want more than you, than you, so, like than it. you, okay. than you, yeah. yeah, I like it, than you, and there is nothing I desire, nothing I desire but you, but oh, <laughs> But you, and there is nothing I want more, nothing I want more than you, than you. What is what? Do you want to do that again or just? No, nah, that's alright. Alright, sweet. We'll see how it sounds. Probably perfect. <laughs> oh, don't, don't do that. Oh.
after just hearing that, I feel like it needs so at the front. So I run. That's just, so I will run? It, well, it just feels like we've said all of this stuff and then so denotes a response. Mm. So, yeah. No, but what do you think? Like, can you just go from, like, the second verse or whatever, the second part? Oh, no, no, pre- pre- pre-chorus, sorry. Sorry, I'm just doing some music maths in my head. All right, doing music maths. 16, 16 quarters. Music maths means letters, not numbers, so that's, you can say numbers. 16 quarters. If you didn't know, now you know. You are 16. That's just where what I... I wrote it in there, but it was like, it's... I just randomly put these things in there. Yeah, but what do you reckon? So... Outvote me if you want to outvote me. Well, here's what I'm thinking. I would agree with you. Not because it's a great response to verse 1, or the Greek chorus, because it's a great response to the bridge. Okay. Which are the two bits that will be... Repeated. Nothing I desire but you, so all right. Uh Uh-huh. I'm right. I knew I would be right. I just knew it. <laughs> I knew I do you want me to say so? I want you to do is that big? whole bit. Okay, yeah. Is it? What do you want me to say? Big, big. So I run. Nice. I want you to not run, overthink it. Run, run. So I run. All right, give me a big. What? You know what? Okay. So I run. The big one. That was it. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Pause. That's actually all we've got time for in today's episode. But we wanted to, as we said, we wanted to give you a little bit of an insight into kind of how a a song develops from, from nothing. Um, to what you may end up hearing on an album. So who knows? We may end up doing it at Boom. We plan on doing it at Boom. It may end up on an album. You might end up singing it at Youth. I don't know. But hopefully we've inspired you. Hopefully that's um, empowered you with a little bit of the process of some of the things that God might give you for your church or your youth ministry as well. And uh, the aim with all of this stuff is that it would serve what God is wanting to do in our house and then if God wants to use it in other houses, all, you know, all around the place as well, then praise God for that. And uh, so we've given you an insider's look. Don't steal it. Don't steal those ideas. But I'm sure that God will give your, uh, you your own as well. Awesome. Well, hope this has blessed you today. And don't forget to share this, like it, subscribe it, and sub- sub- subscribe to it. And um, we'll be back soon with another episode of our Planet Boom Youth Leadership Podcast. Be blessed.